Ooh, she ready. She ready. Gotta love it. What's up guys? So we're gonna start going through the requests. And it just so happens, one of the top requests was feeding videos. Now, I don't generally do a lot of these um, for a couple of reasons, especially with the legislation that we've got coming at us right now. Uh, if you guys don't know about that, you need to educate yourself. Don't worry, we got videos coming on that. But um, there's a lot of people that very much dislike feeding videos because they think it's gruesome or that it's violent or that it's wrong. Believe it or not, there are people out there that actually thinks that snakes should be vegans. Don't get me started, can't help that. Ignorance is what it is. Anyways, you guys asked for feeding videos and it's feeding day. So we're gonna do a feeding video. So, uh, like everything we do here, I got a system, I got a process. I start with the small ones. Um, so this right here is Aries, so I'll go through everything. I've got my feeding tongs, right? This is what I use to feed the little ones. Do I need them? No, but it makes it easier. I got my list. Every single snake in that I'm feeding is on this list. I will write down what it eats. Yes, this is how old school I am. I use a piece, I use a legal pad and a pen to keep my feeding records. I don't need software. I don't need any of that stuff. This works just fine. Yes, I am wearing gloves because I got some pigs over here that I'm going to feed. We'll get to that in a second. But anyways, so this is literally how this goes, guys. Open up the tub. There he is. There we go. Boom. And done. Put it back on. And that's it. So I will generally go through an entire row or rack before I uh, before I start writing stuff down. So now I'm not gonna pull her out because it's open. Let's take her right here. Boom. She got it. Just like that. Okay, Lucy's, they don't eat frozen thawed, they only eat live. So we're not, not doing them right now. They will get fed later. No, I'm not gonna take a video of that. I'm not gonna videotape live feedings. Sorry guys. So, woo. Scar is hungry today. So this is, this is literally it guys. This is how feeding day goes. Everybody always wants to see feeding day or come over for feeding day and I tell everybody, I'm like, I promise you, it's not that exciting. Um, ah. it's, it's honestly kind of boring, but, ooh, she ready, she ready. Gotta love it. So this is one thing about retics. You never really have to worry about retics not eating, unlike some other species. Uh, ball pythons are notorious for being difficult eaters. Uh, there's a few of them, but there's, there's Lucifer. There you go, bud. Oh yeah, come on. Boom. If a reed tick isn't eating, guys, it generally indicates a problem. And so, turn this around. So the name tag's facing out. Um, so, especially when they're young like this, um, now, the other thing is, I don't feed even my hatchlings, I don't feed them as often as most people do. Matter of fact, these guys have not eaten in three weeks. Now, some people would say that that's way too long. Does that snake look unhealthy to you? Not, not one bit to me. Looks perfectly healthy to me. So, anyway, there's that. Ooh, one of my favorites is coming up. This girl, this girl's a freaking powerhouse. She eats more than just about any of the other guys in this rack. This is Makassar. She's my Sulawesi locality retic. She is, yeah. <laughs> she is no joke. Um, she'll usually eat at least two or three rats in a sitting. And I don't generally do that with hatchlings, but with her, her, her food, response and appetite and, and the way she processes food is unlike anything I've ever seen before. So, here we go. Our male motley tiger. 
Come on, bud. Bam. So that's it, guys. That's how we feed. Uh, how we feed the small snakes. Um, like I said, nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too exciting. But that's step one. All right, step two. Larger prey. This is a baby pig. Yes, it's already dead. No, I didn't kill it. It came to me this way. Um, I don't feed pigs very often. Not for any particular reason. Uh, I haven't had a really good source for them. I actually just got a bunch of them in. Uh, shout out to Reptile Gems. Thank you very much for getting these guys to us. They all came perfectly frozen, individually wrapped, labeled with uh, poundage and everything else. Yes, they're a little bloody. Sorry if that makes you squeamish. I don't really know what to tell you. Um, so let's do this. And you can see this one's already ready to go. She wants it. So, there we go. I don't know if she'll take it. Ooh, she might not. She might not. Okay. Might have to mix that up. So, if they haven't had something either ever or in a while, sometimes animals will be a little more difficult to take it. So, what I know who will take a pig is this guy right here. He'll be able to kill it for sure. So. Yep, there we go. That's Cash, that's our Platinum Molly Moschino. We're gonna smash now on that, uh, on that pig. So now it's our boy King, oh and he is real hungry, okay. All right, so, so I'm gonna do this, bust this out like that. Pick this up here, and there you go, bud. Oh, there it goes, down the hatch. So, pigs are a bit of a controversial food source. Some people swear by them, some people really don't like them. I'm kind of indifferent to them, guys. They're good. I believe variety is a very good thing. Uh, the one thing I will say, pigs are messy to feed. Animals... They, they, they've got no hair, and so there's nothing to hold everything together. So unfortunately, in like eh, probably five or six days, these guys are just gonna start painting their cages. It's real good. Um, you know who I wanna try this with, actually? Let me get a hook real quick. I wanna see if she'll take one of these. First, I've never tried to feed this animal, this particular snake, I've never tried to feed her a pig before. But I'm trying to get her to grow a little bit, so let's see if we can see if we can do it. So the other nice thing about pigs is that it's a lot easier to get them in these smaller sizes. So like this is 2.7 pounds. It's like it's not easy to find rabbits in this size range. So let's see here. Is that Persephone? It is Persephone. No, no, not about it. Okay. Alright, alright, no problem. That's fine. Uh, let's see if Eleanor will take this. She's all over the back. Sorry. Max a little stuck. So, she doesn't ever strike her prey. That's one I gotta leave in there. So, I'm just gonna leave that in there and see what happens. So, here we go on a pig, guys. Let's see if this boy's hungry. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's our boy Dynamo. That is my definition of a perfect pie right there. He actually just got back. He was off on a breeder loan, so we're excited to have him back. Get him back to eating the way he needs to be. Uh, let's see how Nikita feels about the pig. So again, so you guys can see, here's how they come. Individually wrapped, labeled. Again, shout out to Reptile Gyms. Thank you, man. Uh, appreciate the, uh, uh, the customer service. Um, had a little bit of a snafu with FedEx because, you know, FedEx just can't get their shit together these days. No, I'm not talking shit. That's just straight fact. Um, there we 
go. Boom. Yeah, she might not. She's not too sure about that. Yeah, she's not sure about that. We'll see. He'll eat one. The psycho. Hmm. One good thing about having an animal that's closer to wild caught parents is that they generally don't give a damn what you feel. And that's what this boy right here at the bottom is. This is Asmodeus. Shed, he might not eat. No, nope, he's not gonna eat. He doesn't want it. Okay. Go back to cover up, bud. So that's how it goes with feeding sometimes, guys. Not every snake eats all the time. I know I said in the earlier video that for reach it doesn't eat. That's usually an indication of a problem. It's not always the case. Um, sometimes they're in shed like that, they won't eat. And that's okay. We'll feed them again next time. No big deal. Um, let's move on to Tigger. Let's see if Tigger will take a video. Like that at all. Woohoo! Nope. See, this is this gets interesting. Okay, this just got interesting. All right, I'm gonna drop that. See, I'm not gonna give him my hand because there's food around. Normally, I would just grab him and put him back in, but there's food around. He knows there's food around. He can smell it. And just because he didn't take that doesn't mean that he won't take my hand. So, see I just did that? Hook's still in there, sure, but not big enough of a gap for him to get out. So I slid it open, pushed him back in there, closed the cage. Now I can worry about getting my hook back. So, this guy can be, he still wants to breed. So that's part of it. So, let's see. I'll uh, leave that off for now. And again, some of these guys have either never eaten pigs or it's been a really long time since they've been offered pigs. So this isn't totally indicative of a normal feeding. No, no, you don't want it? Huh? Huh? No. Okay. All right, so now we're on to rabbits. Yes, it is dripping wet. I've done a video in the past about soaking and adding hydration to the prey. I'm not actually adding hydration this time, but I do. I did soak them so that they're nice and soft and wet. So, take this over here. And this dude doesn't usually play around. There we go. Oh, come on. He's gonna make me grab it. Sometimes, there we go. See, sometimes that's all you gotta do, guys. You just gotta give it a little bit of a shake. Give it a little bit of action. Let them see. Let them see what it is. And that it's something that they want. Boom! They'll they'll smash it right down. All right, let's take a bigger rabbit. Let's see what we got here. That's a big, big rabbit. That's a big rabbit. That's a decent rabbit. A little bigger than that. There we go. That's what I want. There's a nice big rabbit. Okay. So this is gonna go down here in the bottom to our girl, Aspen, who, I'm not gonna say it, because if I say it, then she'll, she'll prove me wrong. Boom, there we go. Now, some of you guys are gonna be like, whoa, you stuck your hand in the cage, like you're moving the rat around, or the rabbit around, it's not safe. Uh, I know that animal. I know that animal really, really well. It doesn't mean she couldn't be unpredictable, but I know her behavior, I know how she acts. That's an animal I can do that with. There are plenty of animals in this collection I would not do that with. So, it's not a uh, end all say all. So, anyways, uh, I gotta write some stuff down before I forget, come back in a second. So, I tried to feed Nyx, my uh, Moschino golden child female. Tried to feed her a pig. She never had a pig, she didn't want a pig. So, now 
we're going to go for a rabbit. Now, her normal diet has been guinea pigs. Now, she's eaten a rabbit before, but, no, see, she wants a guinea pig. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw that in there and leave it in there. We'll see if that entices her to eat it. I don't know, might, might not. All right, time to feed, feed some big rabbits. Oh, this is one of the ones that doesn't have a... So she didn't eat last time. So this is gonna be interesting to see. If she doesn't eat this time, that means she's ready to breed. So that's it guys, that's feeding day. Again, it's not that exciting. Like it's pretty much just a grab and go, toss some things in. Um, everybody thinks it's gonna be like this big ordeal, this big event, and I, I always tell them it's not. Like it's just kind of rote memorization, write things down, throw things in, it's really all it is. So that's how we keep, uh, keep our snakes healthy though, keep them nice and well fed, give them a variety of prey sources. And as you can see, so hopefully I gave you some gauge on like size appropriate to the type of animal that we're feeding. Have a good day.